So we're going to create a program. Um, it's just going to be a simple calculator. And kind of the idea is we're going to learn about functions and how they can save us a lot of time, a lot of lines of code. Uh, so to start off with, I just have a while true loop. And basically, so far, I just say, do you want to calculate something? Um, if they say no, then we say thank you and goodbye. Um, but let's get to the good stuff if they say yes, else. Um, so I just said, okay, I need to know the operation that they want to do. And for this case, I just said D for division, M for multiplication, A for addition, S for subtraction. Or if you want to raise something to a power, simply put P. Okay. So to do any of those things, the first thing that I need um, is I need to get two values from them. And I'm going to print off some blank spaces in this uh, just so I can kind of see my stuff a little bit better, right? Um, it'll make it look a little crisper. So I'm going to need two numbers from them, and I'm going to steal an A value and a B value. And a little end it there. And steal that with a copy paste. Okay. So now I have those, and like I said before, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna print a blank space in between there. Just makes it look a little nicer, easier to read. Okay. So now what I wanna do is I want to, I want to cal uh, you know, actually perform the calculations. So, you know, we could say something like this. If the operation, like if they said D back to me, right? Um, I could do all the calculations in here. Um, so I could put all, all the code for that um, inside my while, while true loop. The problem is, if I do that for every single one of these, my while true loop is going to get really, really big. Um, and I'm going to have to repeat a lot of code that maybe necessarily I don't want to. So that's where this idea of function comes in. A function is something that we, can, we created it, and we're going to use it multiple times. And I don't want to have it multiple times in my code. Um, and it happens all the way at the beginning. So I'm going to define a new function, and I'm going to define division. So to divide something, what do I need? Well, inside this, this set of parentheses, um, I list what I need. I'm going to need a numerator, um, and I'm going to need a denominator, numerator, and denominator. Um, so I, now I got my numerator and denominator. Uh, what do I need to do with that? Basically, I know that the solution to my problem is just going to be the numerator divided by the denominator. So what do I need to do? I'm going to need to basically return whatever my solution is to my, my problem. So this is, this is scratch work that's, um, that's outside of my main program that my, my program can basically call. So if they say D for division, all I have to do is say, okay, I'm going to use my function called division, and I need to feed it something. Now, it's looking for a numerator and denominator, but I haven't, nowhere in my while true loop have I said numerator, denominator. All I actually have to do is put A, B there, right? Because I have an A and a B. So what my, my function does is it nicknames a numerator just for the purpose of that function and B for my denominator. So whatever I get for an A value will now become my numerator. Whatever I get for my B value will now become my denominator. So now this is the part where it gets a little tricky because typically we're used to everything kind of flowing down, 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 down. And then maybe it's in a loop so it kind of goes like this. But what's happening is we're in our loop and as soon as it sees this division it's going to jump all the way up to the top to this, um, to my function. It's gonna get me the A and B value, it's gonna rename those, it's gonna divide them for me, and it's gonna call it solution, and it's gonna return solution. So where does that solution come from? Uh, or I guess, like, where does it appear? That solution will become this, basically. So if I get, if I get 15 and three, 15 divided by three is five, so solution will become five, so it's gonna return solution, so the division of a, b is actually going to be 5, and we're going to set answer equal to that, right? So now answer will be 5. 
So all we have to do now is go say print um, uh, your solution is and dot format the answer. Okay. So let's check to make sure that works. Uh, do I want to calculate something? Heck yes. Division. What's the first number? Let's do 20 and 2. So our answer is 10. Um, now, I didn't really say I said just first number and second number. Maybe they didn't want the first number divided by the second number. Maybe they wanted the second number divided by the, the first number. So with hardly any extra effort, I can just flip these two, right? Um, I can just flip those two. So now what it's going to do is I'm going to feed my division program B then A. So now B is going to become the numerator, and the A value that they gave me is going to become the denominator. So if I say um, 20 and 5, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> yes, I want to calculate something. Yes, I want to do division. Okay, if so if I say 20 and 5, uh, it's going to give me 20 divided by 5 is 4, and also 5 divided by 20 is 0.25. So I can use my division function to kind of save me a lot of code. Otherwise, I'd have to do a lot of this solution equals numerator divided by number. You know, and in this program, it's not going to be a huge amount of time saving. Um, this function, you know, isn't really that complex. So me calling it a whole bunch of time doesn't really save me a lot of lines of code. But imagine you're making Hangman, and you wanted to basically have, have one that printed off the, you could have a function that prints off the board. Uh, that's a lot of code um, to, to print off the board. And you wouldn't want that in your while, um, while true loop because uh, that, would, that would really just kind of clunk things up. Um, you know, in the, so in, in that case, you may want a function to print off the board. You may want a function that's going to um, display all the letters that have been guessed. You may want a third function um, that is checking the letter and updating the, you know, like if it was hello, like H blank, LL blank. Um, part. So really in your while true loop, it's pretty simple. It's just six lines of code that say like do this function, then do this function, then do this function. And that's kind of the beauty of functions. Um, you can kind of test them separately, um, but still use them all together uh, in a kind of more clear way. So I'm going to do just one more for you. So if the operation is P, um, that means that they want to take a power. So really all I need to change here is now I'm going to feed power an A and a B value and power a B and an A value. So I have to define what the heck power is. So I need to define power. And you're going to need a base and an exponent to run the power program. And so in this case, the solution uh, is going to equal the base to the exponent. And I need to return solution. That would have been a bummer. I need to re return the solution. Okay, so it's going to give me in, in both variations there. So do you want to calculate something? Heck yes, I do. Uh, power, what's your first number? Three and four. So it's going to give me three to the fourth power, which is 81, and four to the third power, which is 64. Um, okay. Uh, feel free to finish up the program, but um, it's kind of just more plug and chug uh, to finish up the calculator program.